Science. It's an idyllic view of coral in Guadeloupe, a myriad colors playing host to exotic tropical fish. But just a few hundred meters away, it's a different story. There, it's a reef in agony. Pollution, overfishing, and climate change is strangling the coral. In Guadeloupe, a third is already dead, and it's not only affecting the wildlife. The coral reefs play a very important role because the sea swell breaks on the barrier instead of the shore. So if the coral reef were to disappear, it's the island coastline that would be affected. The scientists have maybe found a solution to repopulate the damaged areas around Guadeloupe. Coral is a living thing with all the mysteries and vagaries of reproduction. So at nightfall, they launch nets in the hunt for coral eggs. Between July and September, during just two days around full moon, for a period of exactly 15 minutes as the sun sets, the Guadeloupe coral decides to lay thousands of tiny white eggs. And the race is on for the divers to gather as many as they can. In the lab, they're fertilized and the larvae are grown on artificial supports before being released back into the sea. To give you an idea, after doing these procedures, there are roughly 500 or 600,000 larvae, so that's already huge. And the goal is to end up with at least 20 or 25 percent of those that develop. It'll be several years before they know how efficient the scheme is, but scientists warn that work has to be done in parallel to treat what's killing the coral in the first place. Otherwise, their work will be in vain. <laughs>